So currently with the coronavirus, everybody is freaking out when it comes to cleaning supplies. So I wanted to come on here real quick and just go over how to make your own hand sanitizer disinfectant spray. It's quick, it's easy. Without further ado, let's start out with hand sanitizer. And for this, all you need is four ingredients. You could technically move forward and only use three of these, but this is how I do it. Start out with a jar, anything you want to use to put it in. Exhibit A. Now you will need rubbing alcohol, anything over 60% to actually kill that bacteria. Bam, bam, bam across the board. Number two, you will need aloe vera, okay? This is gonna help prevent your hands from getting super dried out. Number three, we need some essential oils. You could use any ones that you have at home. These are orange and lemongrass. Both are antibacterials, antifungals, I believe. Yes, they are. Lastly, we have glycerin. Now this stuff, you do not need it. I just use it because I have it on hand and it actually helps at thickening the hand sanitizer. This way it's not too watery when you're using it. But again, completely optional, you don't need it. Now to get started for the hand sanitizer, it's so easy, okay? First, we're gonna go in with the rubbing alcohol. Again, anything over 60%, this way it actually kills the bacteria. And you will fill it up up until the halfway point of whatever jar you are using. Up next, we're gonna go in with just some aloe vera. This way it's not dehydrating to the skin. And you know what? I'm just gonna take the cap off to speed things up a bit. And we will just plop that right in. It's up to you on how much you wanna add. Uh, at the end of the day, you wanna have enough so this way it's not so watery when every time you use it, it goes everywhere. So the more you add this, the thicker the consistency will get, which will help you out. I'll leave this in here as my little stir to mix it all up. Next, go in with some glycerin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Glycerin also helps at hydrating your skin as well. All right, now as you can see, it is still pretty watery. So I wanna go in with a little more glycerin. If I had more aloe vera, I would definitely go in with that just to help thicken it up. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Nice, nice and thick. Nice, thick and juicy. And now we will add in some essential oils. This, I do about eight drops, give or take. Really, it's not a fine science. Now, as you can see, with four ingredients or less, technically three, you have your own hand sanitizer right here. Protect yourself, protect your family, hide your kids, hide your wife, you don't need to. You have hand sanitizer, you are welcome. Now, Lysol here is a very hot commodity. Disinfectant spray is needed, but you can make your own at home, no problem. That's my dog. All right, all you need is three ingredients, and that is rubbing alcohol, 60%, water, and essential oils. That is it, and you are in business. Bottle here. Fill in a little more of that rubbing alcohol. Now, I already got started on this, as you can see. Top off the rest with water. Add some drops of essential oils. Give it a little shake. And you're good to go. Is that cool? No, no, 